Here by Eck, it's me Ian, and look what's here. It is, of course, Doctor Who magazine for November 2023. Yes, that's the month. But of course, the December issue, which will be coming out in November, will be the one with all the big sort of, well, massive anniversary celebration. But... This is getting near and it's, well, showing quite a bit of the specials and what's to come. So look at the cover. There's this here, this character. This is from um, the Star Beast um, special, which is what title one of the um, specials that is coming out. And it's called The Meep. There it is. I'm not quite sure what to make of that and what's a cross between. Certainly it's a familiar kind of face, isn't it? You've, we've seen it. Uh, yes. Uh, now, uh, here we've got um, David Tennant. Uh, there's more about him and the special, this special. Then we've got the person who is going to be voicing this character, which is... Um, Miriam Margulies, and there's a big, massive article about her. And then um, there's the usual stuff here. Hey, all in here. So let's get on with it, eh, Bayek? So now, well, first we'll go to the news page. And there is quite a bit of news here. We've got here the um, news of the directors, um who are directing the um, 15th Doctor stories, um, Shooty Gatwa stories. Oh, I'll manage that name. I don't know what I mean. Um, then we've got here about the return of the Celestial Toymaker and also um, Kate Stewart is going to be appearing as well. Unit. Yes. That looks good, doesn't it? Uh, then there's the news about the iPlayer, which from the 1st of November will have all the classic Doctor Who stories on it, not just the um, 2005 onwards, which is great news. Then we've got news about this um, uh, new series called Unleashed, which is a behind-the-scenes um program of Doctor Who which will be going on with the celebrations a lot of people always love the behind the scenes and interviews and everything connected with that so that that, that will be great won't it and then just to add a bit more we've got here about a concert that has been um, I think it's in Cardiff uh, through Radio 2 and look at this picture we have here uh, Russell T Davis, we have Chibnall, and we have Moffat. We have them all uh, together. They're all looking happy. As I say, they want this, the fans may have all this animosity, but nobody's, you know, he's a Doctor Who contributor, a major one, whatever people say or think about him. And he's part of this, definitely. So I think that's good. And it's nice to see that. And I think they're going to carry on some of the things that he put in. So, you know, <laughs> I know that doesn't always go down well, but here we are. Then we've got the usual letters where people send in their artwork. And that's always nice, you know, about the Doctor. And um, always good to see the connection with the fans. Then now this is the big, it's made the news already. Um, this is Russell T. Davis. Um, column that he does every month in the magazine. He's always a great believer in keeping up with the uh, audience and he lets out quite a big thing here. November the 23rd, there is not going to be a special transmitted. No, 
But there is going to be some celebration that we will see on that day. And and I also think in the build-ups as well, because he mentions the 1st and November the 17th of days with things connected with the 60th. So there we are. A lot of interesting stuff there. Um, then we've got a production diary, because don't get production, is always going on. Uh, this is Scott uh, Hancock who goes behind the scenes and talks about the production diary um, for the 60th anniversary. Yeah, that's really grand, isn't it? And here we are. This is um, Meet the Meat, they call it. And there it is, a meat thing. Yes, uh, this is an, a big interview with Miriam Margulies talking about her connections with Doctor Who, her life, um involvement so we've got that page there she is uh, she's voicing it not actually acting it and then we get all this this stuff going on um loads more there all this and then we get um looking at um books that became stories in the series. Look, you see Human Nature, uh, Blink, Dalek, and uh, Rise of the Sidemen. All these were inspired by certain books, um, which is, there we are, interesting. Um, yeah, and there's more. Uh, there's uh, The Lodger, uh, The Shakespeare Code. Um, yeah. Yeah, bye, heck. That sounds really good. And then we've got, this is interesting, Fraser Hines. He t he's talking really about his career and they like quizzing him. They do a fun quiz all about, all about him. He goes back now to Patrick Troughton era, of course. Fantastic, great companion he was. Always great. And he's a great friend of Doctor Who still. There's a lot of work for Doctor Who. And then here we have um, looking at Unleashed. This that I mentioned that is going to be um, supporting the um, 60th anniversary specials. Yep, all that, all about that, behind the scenes. And they'll be giving you a good insight into the programme. And then we have got um, comic legends Pat Mills and Dave Gibbons who inspired this meep. In the Star Beast, look, the comic strip there, which of course has become the special. I was inspired by that. Fascinating, isn't it? More about that as well. Yeah. Uh, he's getting exciting as we get nearer. Um, now, we've got here talking to one of the editors um, of the series. Look, you can see him in the screen doing all this work. On there. Oh, yes. And they're now asking questions about him and the story. Then we've got um, a look at the uh, Underwater Menace, um, which has been released. Um, there's, in a, a new anim there's an animation with it, and there's the two episodes talking about that, the character in there, the overtop performance which is really good um yeah um because it's coming out specially isn't it um the animated one and, and it's another Pat patrick Trout story which is fantastic i know it's already out but we didn't got the um animation and then we've got about um donna noble's family yes talking about that because of course they're going to pop up and the last time we saw them yes Unfortunately, it's a bit, um, we, well, actually, I'm wrong, aren't I? Because Bernard Cribbins did manage to film, um, scenes, didn't he? Just before he died. Oh, that'll be really quite touching and a great tribute to him as an actor as well. That he is, we are going to see him. Um, yeah, that's, it, that's really fascinating that I'm really pleased about that. Um, but sad as well that we won't see him in the role anymore. But there we are. Um, 
Now we've got here um, 60 objects, 60 years they've been going through it here. And here's uh, talking about the Royal Mail stamps. I've got them I've got, and I've got all the covers as well. They used to collect stamps a lot more than I do now. It's just too too expensive keeping up with it all. But um, I, I do have um, those Doctor Who uh, stamps. I've got some with uh, signed as well. Um, then there's about a musical instrument, the electric guitar that um, the 12th Doctor was very fond of playing. <laughs> um, yeah, if you remember. And then it's just look at the Doctors playing instruments. <laughs> Oh, and then there's about the um, artwork here in 2016 for the... Um, you remember the um, Target books were, like, sort of relaunched, the special artwork that was, you know, put in, in that style for the Target books, which is great. Um, then here we've got about the costume for the um, Mondo Cyberman. Yeah, 2017. Oh, and then here's the comic strip of the 14th Doctor. Still going on? Yeah. There's a lot here been going on with the 14th Doctor. And that goes on the right to end there. Uh, yeah, on there. And then we've got... Ah, Partners in Crime. It's a look back at... Donna's her story. Yes. All the sort of things that you want to know about it um, is all here. They are, they love doing an in-depth look at these episodes. Absolutely fascinating. There's more. Uh, yeah, so you'd, you'd be able to watch that, of course, on the iPlayer as well. Uh, now we've got more reviews, big finish, um, looks to be a lot of Fifth Doctor, yeah, Fifth Doctor, he's a great contributor to the um, big finish productions, as are all the other Doctors as well. Um, then we've got, oh yeah, what have we got? Uh, oh, we've got about some... Uh, action figures and the sonic screwdrivers that have been released um i think that's the new new one for the uh 14th doctor and there are some more figures look at these uh look at these are expensive as well you can't keep up with everything can you it's too it's too much you need to rob a bank or something or go back in time and do some i don't know grab some money <laughs> Yeah, that's what we need to do. Because uh, we can't afford it. <laughs> Bye. Heck. Um, then, um, let's see, there's more um, young adult novels. A lot of reading here, more connected with Doctor Who. Yeah, it's good that they still are very much involved in doing all these books and that. Then we've got about um, this... Um, it's a story, Once and the Future, which includes Carol and Ford reprising a role as Susan. She's been great. Don't be surprised again to see her maybe pop up again in the 60th anniversary ones. I wouldn't be surprised in some ways. But she's here. That's when she was uh, right at the beginning in um, Unearthly Child. And now she's doing this. She's she, I know she contributes to them as well. She, she's really good. Um, then we've got here. Oh, because of the underwater menace, they're looking at aquatic Doctor Who. It's a great thing, isn't it? All the connections with underwater that Doctor Who has had. You know, the sea devils are an obvious one, aren't they? And um, the fish people, of course. The fish people. I love that, don't you? Can't beat a bit of fish people. And what else have we got here? There's this, lastly, they're looking at how many times all the Doctors have appeared in Doctor Who Monthly, or Doctor Who Magazine, as they call it now, um, times as a comic strip. And uh, there's a bit of information for you. Uh, yes. And that's it. The advert, more advertising, big finish. And there it is. There it is. The November issue of... Um, Doctor Who magazine. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed that little review. Yeah, bye. Uh, so, 
if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Then we'll let you know when I um, produce all these videos on all sorts of things. You know, a lot of movie and uh, or films, or movie films, whatever you want to call them. TV series, a lot of nostalgia, bits of this, bits of that. You'll see it. And perhaps you'd like it if you want. If you like this one, <laughs> please give it a like. It all helps with algorithms, as they say, and um, it all costs notes. You know, if you've got any comments, please put comments down. It's always good to uh, read what you say. And uh, I think that's it. Yes. Uh, all I've got to say is, I'll see thee. I'll see thee again.